So Sean, can you just tell me a bit, little bit about your farming system? Uh, it's a, uh, predominantly a stabiliser herd now. Uh, we still have a few commercial cows left, but they'll be gone in the next couple of years. Um, finishing bulls under 16 months, and uh, this year now we've actually sold breeding heifers. That's where we're at. We calf down 98 cow cows this year, and this was uh, around 120 been bull this year so that's kind of where we're at yeah yeah and um we'll say a lot of people know the stabilizers are are super for the maternal side um we'll say do you have any problems with finishing the bulls or is is, is that an issue with the with no the it's not no they, they actually finish quite well the fact that they have angus and hereford in them they do they're very social for the under 16 month bull job because fat cover is an issue. The harder you feed them, the quicker you can get them out the door. Like as Billy O'Kane said there, he's killing them at 14 months. And yeah. Something I just have to just tweak it a bit better and, you know, look at bedding. My cattle were on slats now too long this winter because of housing issues. So bulls did suffer, so I, you know, I need to just look at rubber slats or maybe peat, which I've used this year now, which has worked well. We all know it's probably a challenge in time at the moment with, with weather conditions and that, and even going back to the winter, it was yeah. a challenge in winter. How have you fared out for the spring and currently now with the with the drought that's... We, we yeah, we're okay, it. we're okay. Yeah, we suckling cows, the weather we have at the moment, it's not as huge, big an issue as dairy, and like, I mean, a suckler cow can milk off her back for certain of the time. She does, you know, it's not an issue, so I wouldn't worry too much about it, no. Calves are doing well, and like it's last spring, Okay, father was scarce, but I suppose the wet, the fact that cows were slow going out was probably worse, you know, but we got through with cost involved. Are you concerned about fodder going into this winter or are you happy with what you have taken I am, so far? yeah, I was lucky I got some hay. Going to be a problem, yeah, but I'm not over worried, but I'm glad the cows I have, like they are much easier winter than what I had. If I had a herd of continental cows, I'd say I would have to be getting rid of, I'd, have to, I'd have to call a lot of cows, I wouldn't keep them going into this winter and that's what's going to happen to a lot of suckling cows they will go this winter I'd say. The herd here in BDGP yeah, yeah and how are you finding that or have you any? No I like it's a good ski yeah so starting off we, we struggled a bit getting star ratings on the stabilizers but it's no problem so they, they suit it very well. And do you feel the stars are reflecting the animal that's behind behind the stars? I'd say they would be like like I see they are picking out heifers the five star heifers you put them through the, to up to the crush they probably are your best heifers anyway even visually they're probably are the best heifer so yeah it is it, it, it is work I suppose finally there's a lot of challenges within the beef sector coming down the line what what do you feel is probably the biggest challenge for you in which your business as I suppose we're standing here in the yard what's the biggest threat to to the farm I suppose the price of beef if the, if the, if the factories aren't willing to pay for a premium product I'd say that's going to be the problem they're not going to reward this man calving suckling cows that's that's my biggest worry is the price going to with all this dairy offspring coming on stream is the suckling man going to take less and less you know it, it, that's the problem I'm looking at you know it's price Sean you have a fine setup here thanks for showing us around this evening you're welcome and we yeah. wish you the best of luck for, for the future thanks very much